And yes, we are back. Um, so we've just um, we've reviewed uh, Bloodwise's Division 1. Um, if your team was in there, you want to know um, what we said. It, it's at this moment getting exported to my YouTube channel. What has all the uh, the previews of all the Fable uh, leaks and divisions. So uh, by all means, go over to my channel and um, see it on there. But um, now we're down to Blood Wars Division 3, and this is an interesting one because obviously my co announcer, Guy Walters, aka Rithlord, his team's actually in here. So uh, it'll be interesting to get some, uh, some yes, this info will be... from yourself, won't it, really? Um, <coughs> Good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we can't start off with your team. We've got to start off from the top left, and it is Maca Movers. Yep. Dawn of the Fish. Gotta love the name. A very clean outfit for a Nagel team. Very clean. Um. Yes, the white and blue armour does look a bit, uh, a bit, clean, a bit fresh it? for them. Maybe they're quite posh. Um, and, um, yeah, let's have a look at the team. So the, the TV value, first of all, is 1840. Um, and it's the highest has, in the league, I believe. Yep. Got a Mighty Blow Claw block piece. Um, not a big fan of Mighty Blow Claw first, I must admit. Um, I always like to get the no, block. No, I did see that. The only time, obviously, the only time I take exception is if I'm reasonably with Black Hawks. I think that's the only time he... Don't take block first. Um, he's got two shorthand players. Interesting. Um, yep. But an ironically... It's always good to have two ball carriers. But... but the problem is, you then look at number 10, who's got extra arms, movement plus... And plus one movement. So he's, you'd think he's more suited for, to be um, a pest... You know, to be your ball handler. So you've got three pest goes, really, what of all saying, give me the ball, give me the ball. Um, that's a major problem. I mean, yeah, I don't a bit of unnecessary how... bloke yeah. there. I, I would have given I, one of them block and then tackle, maybe. I mean, I always think with Nagel, the weakness with Nagel is, is obviously you always have one main ball carry, then after that, you really don't have anything because you're only allowed four, four pestigos, so you always struggle. Um, but he's gone the other way. He's gone three and ball handlers. Um, the other thing is, this guy's got four re-rolls and leader. <laughs> that's just unnecessary. That's a lot of, uh, of re-rolls, Will. Um, um, oh, a solid man. team, though, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I think I think the three ball handler thing is definitely unnecessary yeah. bloat. Yeah, that's great. Um, um, I mean, at least I think the, you the definitely want to build two of your pestigors as blitzers in a Nurgle team, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, you've got that's, that's you want you two guys us. with, yeah, that's you know, with tackle, mighty blow, block. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like he's got a nice um, piece of Nurgle block stand firm, so that's good. He's got um, the wizard box as well. He's got the wizard, the magician interesting. shop. Interesting. Well, that that oh. I've seen a few bash teams go that way. I don't mind that for, I don't mind that for Nurgle because you've got regen. You're you're more likely to survive any damage than your opponent. Yeah, yeah. Interesting choice. Um, he's but, like a, like I say it again. He's eighteen forty TV and only one guard. Ah, oh, bash yep. teams rely on guard people. I'm sorry, I know I'm probably boring everyone to death, but if you're playing Bash, guard, huh. guard, 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 you've got to control. Um, I'm going to put that on your tombstone, mate. You can do, you can do. I mean, people will be saying, hey, man, look <laughs> at that KS Dwarf team, man, there's not enough guard in there. But I do do my tribute teams completely different. I usually do. What yep. would Rambo do? Yes, guard would be one of the last things. But yeah, usually guard, <laughs> would, be, guard would be a thing, definitely. Um, i tell you what, though, he's, he's got some... He's got, you know, like we said about Trexel Bates, um Undead, this has got some really nice pieces. I mean, he's got that Strength Fad Nagel Warrior. For the love of God, you need tentacles, definitely. Yes. Um, a block and stand firm. There's the next three skills. Whichever way you want to do it, I don't know, but they're the next three skills. Um, number five, Nagel Warrior should get guard um, to go to complement number three. Um and the other thing as well, like number 15, the rotten number 15, he's gone block, fine, but then you've got dead player. And it's like... Oh, he's just going to get sent off. He's a player now. Surely, dead players... I always, th I always think with dead players and rotters, it should be the first skill, and that's the only skill they should get, unless they roll for sneaky gip. And even then, I'm thinking, well, that's still quite, quite a lot of it. Yeah, I generally, I generally sack rotters if they get to level 3 and they haven't doubled. Same with zombies. Yeah. Same yeah. with skinks. Yeah. Like, if you haven't doubled for me by then, then... Go away! You just bloat. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get that. Um, uh, yeah, player. I don't know. I, I just think at the end of the day, you, you know, you could you're going to be fouling and you, you're going to lose an 80k player. It was 
like quite a bit of TV. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, it, it's a funny team. The, one, the other thing that strikes me about this yeah. this coach is the record. Let's have a look at the record. I have a look at it. Oh, seven wins, seven draws, twenty three losses. Yeah. Ouch. So, so he's obviously a guy maybe just learning his way. I'm um, in the game. What's fun? We all start at, at the bottom. Even oh myself. yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure even Drick did, and all the top champions of the Fab League. I'm sure they, they all. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not familiar with this coach either. Dawn of the Fish. Yeah, he's, he's got. I mean, like I said, he's got potential there. I mean, if he does he's listen, got a solid to, team. If he does listen to this video, just, mm. you can't have three ball carriers. Yeah. Well, you can if you want three ball carriers, but you, really two of them. should I don't be think killers. you should. <laughs> you, there's yeah. a difference between yeah. There's a difference between can and should. Yeah. Um. You know. I can I can try and build a passing dwarf team if you like, but that doesn't yeah. mean I should. Yeah, um, his beast and eagle's good. Well, actually, Martin Durand has a really good passing dwarf team, but that's yeah. a whole other show by itself. Yeah, I mean, I, w I would I would definitely be looking. Number five gets guard. Number three gets stand fair. Uh, yep. Um, six mm -hmm. gets tentacles, stand fair, block whichever way you want to do it. I would be looking yep. at getting number ten. I, w I would. For the love of God, man, dump a reroll. Number ten, I would be looking if I roll a double, get dodge. Otherwise, get short hands. Then end of season, yeah. sack nine and eight, or at least sack one of them, um, and try and maybe from oh, the overload yeah, try and get a killer. Um, also, I do have some really nice Nagel pieces, and um, Benny's tip will be making his debut in his fable. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate mm. mail, um, but if if you if you want some Nagel pieces, uh, my what a final playoff team what obviously is retired now I've been I've got pieces that I could help you at different costs and all that so you know I can help you in that way and they will make a difference mm -hmm. um, so come and see me um, but yeah I mean they've got see potential. Uncle Bernie yeah, they've, in I'll his white you. van I will look after you because you don't need positioning when you've got killers like I have you just point and click and they'll kill but I also have a movement 8 well then again I've, just, I've, I've, I've got a movement 8 ball carrier why, why stop at 3 let's yeah. go 4 um, but yeah, I think this team's got potential. I really do. I like some of these pieces. Um, yeah, he needs to drop a team reroll. Granted, that's that's saving got, seventy here. You know, he's got four with leader. Yeah. There's, you know, that's and especially when you're. Well, actually, no, he's not the highest team in the league. I can, apparently can't read. Um, but still, when when you're, you know, two hundred, yeah. three hundred above most teams in the league. Yeah. Dropping that hundred and forty is massive. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to be getting 360 against this bloke. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I that's would, a lot I of would, TV to be giving me. I, I, I would suggest personally save your cash as best you can. Um, get to about 200k. Come and see me. Um, I'll have a look at what the overloads got to sell. Um, and like I said, we can. Remember, you can only do that at the end of the season, though. No, no, that's what I said. And then six more said, games save, to get through. Yeah, save your cash. You know, about 200k. And then come and see me if you if you want help. If you don't, fine. That's not a problem. If you need any advice, because like I, I do play a lot of Nagel, um, I'll be able to help him, and uh, we'll 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 get this team a bit more beefed out. Because like I said, he's got the key components there of a good team. So um, you know, Nagel's a hard team to start off with. So um, you know, they get better as as they get obviously get more skilled up. So good luck to him anyway. Right then, let's go to and next. We have praise the old it? ones. Praise the old ones. And I do know this person. This is Andrew Glenn. Yeah. Um, he plays in my mixed league. So I know. I, know I, I recognise pretty much all the gamer tags from the mixed league. That's why I look at them like 15 times a week now. He's oh. got another pretty solid looking lizard man team. Two strength, five sauruses. One with dodge as well. He's going to yeah. be brutal. See, to me. Proxicore, break tackle. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Six. Movement nine skink. Every lizard man team we come across seems to have one of those these days. Yeah, I mean that number six. Would you go break tackle next, or would you go block on number six? Um, or would you I go, would even go block. block? I would go block. Block. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just thinking you, you could you could make him into like a block stand firm guy, crash a corner of a cage, stand there, and go hi, move me if you can. Hi. Um, so he's, he's done really well there. He's got two strength five pieces. That's beautiful. He's got a couple of guard pieces on the strength fours. What's great? Um, a yeah, he's got a tackle skink. mighty blow guy who I'd definitely be giving. What do you, what you know, think? What do you think him. of um, a leaping skink? I don't really get the, the leap. movement nine skink. Yeah, I don't get the leap. Um, well, because if he gets because if he gets sprint, then that's a one turn touchdowning piece all day long. 
Right, okay, yeah. Oops. I tell you, no, I've got one. I have a movement nine agility five skink in my old Premier League team that I retired, mate. Yeah. And he had leap and sprint and sure feet, and he was amazing. Was he? He won I... me so many games, or drew or drew me so many games because he just come on and go one turn touchdown. Thank you, and I'm off the pitch again. Fellows, fellows, I just think because he'd it, 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 get three plus with dodge built in, or three plus leap. Mm. It's, but it's, it's, sometimes I mean, you have to make to, you have to make three or four dodges to get yeah. through against someone who's set up properly against the one turner. And then with whereas leap, you, don't need you only have to make one leap. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fair point, fair point. And obviously, if he gets an agility yeah. on that, he'll love it. Um, in, oh uh, god, yeah. Sneaky git. I hate sneaky gits on skink. A sneaky git skink killed. Well, didn't kill my golem, but minus one strength. I think. Uh, there was. I love the diving senses. tackle skinks as well. Yes, yeah, diving tackle side step are fantastic. Um, Again, he's got a solid base. Uh, number two, um, either gets break tackle or stand firm. Definitely one or the other. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think this team is going there. Um, I mean, I obviously don't know the coach, how good he is, but this team has got some nice pieces. Like I said, he's got the potential one-turner already with movement down and sidestep. He's got, he's got so much beef up front. Um, and oh, it, I'm not looking forward to playing this team. Yeah, yeah, your rocks are your really rocks. not. I hope they've got a lot of guard, your rocks. Not yet, they don't. Mm, so that could be a struggle. They're there. getting, they, they're getting, they're there, getting but there, but not yet. But say again, your team's very brand new as well, aren't they? So you know what you can only do so much in this box, team's going to use me. Games. 400 TV, 460 TV. That's that, that's rip so. all. That's rip all the way for me. I've, I've got to mm. get strength somewhere, and that strength six will come in handy. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good team. But he'll get, um, he'll, you know, he'll get taken out against this team. That's the problem. No, he will. He's good as Ripper. The guy um, with the guy with mighty blow standing between the two guys with guard. Boom. Well, See you, you later. Got, you got Vary Gultra as well. He, he he would give you some beef as well. You know. Yeah. He's, he's pretty good. Twelve in seven draws, sixteen losses, an okay record. Um, but yeah, again, another team. Good to see in the low levels, gradually building. And, you know, he's going to have another season now where he's going to be able to build and make him stronger. And then, obviously, if anything goes well, he'll get promoted. But if he doesn't get promoted, it doesn't really matter because that means you get another season in the calmer waters of Division 3 and be able to build and build and build. Um, so, I don't know um, if this is going to be terribly calm down here, Bernie, but... Yeah, well, you know... We can call it that if you like. Well, I've seen the high divisions and, you know, it'd it go... Yeah. You'd have to go a bit to... Um, you look at it, the average the average T V in this division's probably only about a hundred lower. Yeah. Than division one. Yeah. So yeah. Ooh, now then the next yeah. one, Great Kaiju is the team. Great name. Kaiju. So that's uh, All Pacific is it, Rim. Man. Um and special yeah. C. Um bless him, bless his consocks. This is not a skilled team, but interestingly, agility four and leap straight off the bat with number eleven. Yep. Um, yeah, and I, I, I like Crocs of Gore. That's always nice. I like um, I like agility four and leap on a skink. That's yeah. pretty good. But again, two plus building reroll using dodge. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I can see benefits to both, but that's a nice piece regardless. Um, movement nine skink as well. So he's he's got little makings there. He's got block on the cross goal. Which yeah, always beautiful. He's got a lot of guard. he's got a lot of growing up to do, like my old yeah. team does. He, but I mean, you, you're saying he's got a very good start. You're saying your rocks will struggle against them lizards. This team will struggle against them lizards. He might be able to bring in Slibly yeah. um, to give him a bit more stand firm guard, maybe against the the, the other lizard team. See um, this team. This team, I'm a bit more confident about playing against. Yeah. Um, no, no offense to the coach, but yeah, it's a, nothing personal. Just you know, your team's four hundred TV lower. Mm, absolutely. <clears throat> you know, it doesn't doesn't have all the guard, doesn't have all the tackle, doesn't have you know <clears throat> anywhere yeah. near as much beef to it. Yeah. Definitely doesn't have the two strength five saurus, which is always nice. To not have yeah. to play against those. Yeah, six <clears throat> six wins, three draws, six losses. Not bad, not bad indeed. I think he started yeah. off with a loss um, in the first round, if memory serves me correctly, but. You know, it, it's he was a good playing at Orcadas last year, Isn't and he it? finished mid table by the look of it. Yeah, so you know, it's a good little team. It's got a lot, lot to, lot of uh, room to progress. And if we can, yeah. if we can save, you know, save them skins from getting squashed, I think they'll be a lot stronger for for another season under the belt. Um, 
Null Heavy Metal, Mr. Jabba Jabba. This is the, Jabba. This is the team I've just played in. This uh, this is Stephen Richard Snowed. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Surprised me, actually, because I, I haven't played Stephen for a while. And, yep. like, I, I mean, I, I haven't played him since he sort of first joined Fabul, mm. and he's gotten a hell of a lot better. Yep, yep. Like, if you're listening, Stephen, you, you, you know, my... I took my hat off to you after this game, mate, because you played damn well. Yeah, I um, I I played him a few days ago, but unfortunately, it's a very well-rounded team as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if he's got a drug issue, that's a fantastic result for him. It's a nice team as well. Um, nice bit of mighty blow tackle. Uh, two very nice agilities there. Why you take agility on Ogre yeah. though? Um, is debatable, but you could yes, I, I question carry, that. I guess, if you really want to. The agility on number 14 is beautiful, though. That is really nice. Um, the, obviously, it's an overload thrower, so he's, he's gone in thought, you know what, I'll get that. And he's only six off. He's only six off block as well. Oh, that's beautiful. He, he could do very nicely. I think, obviously, next season, I'd be looking to the overload and say, please, can I have a catcher to, uh, to go with that nice throw you've given me? Um, he needs a bit more guard. That's something would yes. help with his strength three. That might help a bit. But um, I think the team's pretty nice. He's got four catches, three with Blodge, two with Sidestep as well. Um, I quite like this team. Three team rerolls, so nothing crazy there. He's got his Apothecary. Um, it's a very nice balanced yeah. team, to be fair. I quite like this one. Good solid thrower. And yeah. Good yeah. ogre. Five, five, five yeah, on the uh, five wins, five draws, five losses. Um, obviously, got a good draw against yourself. Um, yeah, he played very well. Yeah, so um, yeah, I I like this team. I must admit, I do like the balance of this team. Um, Eighteen hundred TV. We, oh God, I, I I think it's a bit high with no I'll guard. That actually, that's a bit yeah. I, I always yeah. I always try and get a bit more. Out he's of got it. what? He's got thirteen players. So yeah, I mean yeah, but you can see you, why he's got. What would you do? What would you go without? What would you you know? What player? What player would you bin? That's the problem. Like. You know, yeah. I mean, I think thirteen players is the sweet spot for humans. Yeah, I think so too. I think thirteen is. You know, the there's sweet nothing. Spot. There's nothing there that's really that you would call a, apart from maybe the agility on the ogre. I probably wouldn't have taken. Yeah. But then again, you know, you're giving it up for a standard skill. So yeah, but then that gives him the guard that we keep telling him he needs. Yeah. But I suppose that yeah, I probably would have taken guard on him. But yeah. you know, apart I'm from really that, good. that's the only thing I can really see that I consider bloat. And then you're talking what twenty team value. Yeah, I it's mean, it's not going to make or break the bank. Yeah, because obviously, it, it, you, you've got yourself a star throw there, so he's going to be carrying the ball, and I, I can't really see him unless it's a desperate measure throwing the ball to an ogre. Um, but you know, yeah, but can I, you see? You, you can see that ogre dodging out to do a blitz. Yeah, but again, you, know, you can see that ogre. You can. Doing, I mean, I suppose. Do... I suppose it depends on on your yeah. mentality. I'm scared stiff to use break tackle on a loner, and that's a two plus. And yeah, yeah. Guarantee, yeah. Absolutely. Nine times out of ten, they'll roll the bloody one and they'll just mess everything up. Um, but, you know, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I, I just think it's a, a jilly on an ogre. Um, well, if you give them the ball, it's, it's going to be hard for them to take it off him. But Oh, yeah, I suppose touchbacks are going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I give just, it to the agility three ogre and just watch him run. I, I just think you're asking for trouble giving giving a loner um, the ball unless it has built-in re-rolls, um, personally. Yeah. Um, but, Absolutely. you know, it's a good team and we'll, we'll see but even then, yeah, yeah, it's a good solid team, especially in this division where, you know, you look at, like, there's a lot of teams around 15, 14, 100. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to say, I think, I think he's got a good draw against you, obviously. Oh. Um, yeah. That that is a massive. If, if I'm if I'm him, I'm thinking you know I, I would take a lot of positives out of that, and um, be extremely happy of how that's gone on. Um, so yeah, I, th I think I think that's pretty good. You should be happy. Um, so yeah, next up we have our third lizard man team I of know. the season. All lizards, um, like and the, and the third lizard team to have a movement nan piece. Um, I told you, mate. They've all got one. They've all got one. Sadly, my, my team had one in the Premier League. Everyone, every single, it's like agility five war dancers, mate. Every single yeah. wood elf team I see seems to have one. I always see like gut runners with extra movement as well, usually. Um, unfortunately, that always though, happens as well. Gutter runners with movement ten. 
Yeah, I mean, like they guy, fucking need it. This guy's only played. <laughs> this guy's only played eight games, but he's won six drawn. Sorry, he's won six, lost two. So a very, very. Yeah, I'm not familiar record. with the gamer tag, but um, that's a very good record. So it came. I mean, he was, he, you know, he was playing in Division Three last. Yeah. Oh no, Division Four oh, last season. Yeah. yeah. But he was, you know, but no, he's done very well. So he's coming. He's coming to the the division in really good form, and his first game of the division a smash loses three nil. Welcome to Division Three. Um, Who did he play? Um, Dark Elves, I think. By looking at the badge. But, um, uh, um, Skyburn is Annex. Oh, maybe that? not. Maybe humans. I don't know. But he got beat three nil. Yeah. Um, but, oh yeah, yeah that's um. That was Orcs. Orcs with that badge. Oh, he okay. got beaten three nil by Orcs. Oof, that, that yeah, some, but, some severely went wrong there then. Um, yeah, but you just, yeah, you don't get beaten by th- Orcs three nil unless there's some severe nuffling yeah. involved. Yeah, so you know, and we all get that. Or the, the Orcs. Yeah. Um, like I say, it's hard to criticize this team because it's only played eight games. <laughs> so yeah, you he's know. done. You know, the skills he's he has well. done, he, you know, are right. He's. I mean, oh well. Yeah, I mean, he's got, he's got dodge on. I mean, he would have taken and, jump up. Yeah, he's got dodge on two of the Saurus already. Yeah, he's so, doing all right there. Again, it, Plus, he's got know, the he's... potential to do get a very nice team, but unfortunately, it's just going to take time and a few seasons. And we can say that about a lot yeah. of them. But it's it's good to see these teams and in a few seasons. Say, oh yeah, I remember when they was like a little baby back in Division Four and Three, and yeah. we look where they are now. So That's the great but, thing about this about this league, though, is when you you know. Especially if you if you can take a team from literally from the top to the bottom, yeah, um, yeah. you know it's it's such a rewarding feeling just going yeah, yeah. I, I like I I like the I like seeing teams like this. His record's very good, and again, it's it's another fact that you know what, with a team this <clears throat> infant, you don't really want to get promoted because you know, you don't want to be going too high. Um, so you know, losing losing a couple of games won't be the worst thing for him. Because, um, like I said, sometimes going up a division could ruin ruin your uh, your team pretty quickly. Yes, absolutely. So, but not bad. But let's have a look at the team. What gave him a beating three nil? It was an orc team, surprisingly. Like you said, it was an orc team. So they will be extremely happy week one. Um, Agility four blitzer with strong arm. That's an interesting ooh. choice. That's a very interesting choice. Not Gallon. what I would have done. But... Yeah, but as he got, he's nothing. He's got a throw, has he? So. Um, He's got a thrower, yeah, he does. Oh, he does? Yeah, he's got one. Oh. He's got an accurate block yeah. thrower. Yeah, interesting. It's a very solid, very again, another very solid you yeah. know, starting build for an Orc team. Plenty of block Almost there. everyone Always across good. the front line's got block. Yeah. He hasn't taken any of your favourite guard yet, though. Yeah, he deserves to get his ass kicked. No guard. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it. like I said, I mean, like I said, I don't have a problem with people taking block. It's the safer option. Um. And it's good that he's got three of his Black Hawks already. Um, I don't with... know if I would have taken Frenzy before I took a guard piece, though, but that's, I mean, I'm, I'm nitpicking now. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. the, you know, I don't mind the Frenzy, as I've mentioned in the last chart. Yeah. I think the Frenzy's, you know, really good for forcing your opponent not to be a dick on the sidelines. Yeah, and he's got his Goblin as well with Catch. And is that sure feet as yep. well there? So, yeah, that's nice. Um, so he's got his one turn option, like what you like. Um, I don't me, like me I don't, versus this team is going to be very. I do not interesting. like um, the four coach systems, the three cheerleaders. You don't really need all them. That's no, what. That's, that's about just bloat. Fifty TV. That's bloat. another gob. Yeah, that's a goblin. That's seventy or, or mate. a line orc. That's that's a lineman. Yeah, so, that's more than a lineman. You know, it's it's crazy. I mean, the, I I I will yeah. maximally take one one of each one. That's all I'll take. Um, because anything else is just TV bloat. And people say to me, Benny, that's a 20 TV blood, you don't need it. And I'm like, well, I quite like having one cheerleader and one coach system. But when I see four and three on five, as we had earlier, it's like, yeah. I just think, oh my God, all that TV. All that TV, it's it's crazy. Squidward, if you're listening, sack your assistants, mate. You don't need them. Yeah, that that's what we would do. Um, apart from that, I'll, I think yeah, it's a good that's team. That's the only thing I would change about yeah. That's the only thing I would change about this team. I would yeah. sack them and maybe buy a lineman. Yeah, and obviously when they start levelling up, I'm sure Guide will come on the Blackhawks next. So again, yeah, another absolutely. team going nicely. He's got a decent um, blitzer. Interesting that he's got a strong arm, though. Interesting. Yes, it's an you, interesting one. But you never know. He might be playing. You know, I, I would seen... have given him dodge on a double myself. Yeah, 
Yeah, because that blodge agility four piece would be beautiful. Really would have been nice. Four piece it? with blodge is, yeah, it's glorious. Because mm. he needs an, he needs doubles now to get accurate and stuff like that. So that's but you why. watch you watch now that I've now that I've said that I wouldn't take that player, he'll probably score a touchdown on yeah, me. Well, that's always he'll, it. he'll pass it like the length of the field with strong arm. Mm. I'll I'll come back and whinge about it later. You watch. Six wins, two draws. So speaking of my loss. team, he's, he's Ooh, play, six wins, he? two. That's a good record. So nicely now played. Then. Let's go to your team then, the Orcs. Now we're on to clearly the best team in the division. <laughs> Not really, it has to be honest. no guard at all. But it does Yes, have... I know. I keep rolling stat ups though, Bernie. What am I supposed to do? Turn down strength four Orcs? Yeah. Mm. But, I w you know, I would have oh, definitely nice had guard on that, you know. That's a beautiful blitzer. Yeah, strength four blitzer, yeah. agility four blitzer with tackle. Oh, nice. You know, what, what's a man to do? Strength so, five and all I totally agree with you. This team definitely needs guard. But you know, like, I'm in no help. way disputing that. Um, obviously, you got your troll right. as well. So yeah. um, uh, you know, as soon as that, as soon as that black orc with block gets another level up, I'll be getting guard. Yeah. You know, as soon as, like there'll definitely there'll definitely be some guard coming yeah, for this team. they do. In, I mean, in, in any future. any orc team with a wealth of gold will eventually I get might, guard. Yeah. You have to have. I guard. might even take your advice and give. Number two guard as his first skill, but if he gets killed, I'm coming back and I'm blaming you. You'll be hearing about it. <laughs> Thing is, though, you cut you off no guard. I mean, um, yes, it's something you desperately need. I agree need. that it's subpar. Um, but again, like I said, I w I, I certainly wouldn't have took I wouldn't have turned down strength or agility. So I, I get where you're coming from. Mm, I like exactly. you got. I like you got some and I got a double pieces, on my thrower, and that's a beautiful double on your thrower. Yeah, so you got strong arm there. Yeah. Um, two throwers is interesting. Next, You've got two throwers. Interesting. Well, see, I've, I've never seen that before. Well, see, I've, I was looking at it and I was like, and I will be the first person to admit I don't normally play orcs. I have played them before. Like, this is not my first orc team, mm -hmm. but I'm not a regular orc coach. Mm. Um, but I, th I figured I had the money. Yeah. And he's basically got, you know, very you know very similar skills but he gives me the chance to take leader yeah it does it does but it does mean you have to have him you on know, the pitch on, on so yeah it does mean i have to have him on the pitch but yeah i don't know <laughs> it was just thinking for 20 grand extra i'd, yeah. I'd rather have a second thrower than, yeah. than a lineman yeah that was I, my thinking i just i just i'm just chuckling to myself of all the people who hate throwers on the nook team and they can look at yours and go god damn it you got one thrower you got two throwers how do you have two throwers but um, oh well, you know, I I like I said, I, I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad choice. I just I've never seen it before, yeah. and it could work wonders. Like I said, you're gonna get leader cheap. That's always a good thing. Yeah, nice and the other the leader. other thing is, and it, you know, like because then I could put him on when I'm defending. Yeah, keep my good thrower yeah. for yeah. when I'm playing offense. And, that, and that's basically you know, what you do, and, wouldn't you? Absolutely. But I've got the three rerolls anyway, so it's not like yeah. I'm shy of a reroll. No. And the good but, thing as well, but, I I suppose, but then if I got leader, I'd sack the third reroll off. The, the good thing as well, you know, just, to got, keep, just to manage the TV. If you've um, got two throws as well, more chances of rolling that wonderful agility, um, and then obviously yeah. you know, because you know they are slow players. I mean, movement five is dead slow. You could have both of them yes. on your on your on your drive, one at one side and the other on the other side. So you know, it gives you uh, yeah. a better chance of picking the ball up. So you know, you can make a case for having two throwers. Um, you know, but it's just I've never. I can't remember the last time I actually saw two throwers. But I, I, well, yeah, all you all purists out there who say you shouldn't take throwers, we'll see. We'll, we'll give me give me a couple of seasons. Yeah. And if I'm back in the Premier League, then then you can eat your hat. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I'm I in mean, Division Four, then I'll eat mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I I I like throwers. Um, I always have one to start in, start off with at least. But, um, no. So it'll be interesting to see. I did go is... five two and one last season, so it's working yeah. so far. I mean, it's. It's um, like I said. This is what we want to see. We want to see these different sort of builds. Like I said to you earlier, it'd be a bit boring if we all did the same stuff, you know. And like I said, this could be a masterstroke. <laughs> could be an absolute masterstroke. Um, yeah. Like and with said, the agility four blitzer, I can kind of almost yeah. pass the ball. Or yeah. is that swearing in orcish? I'm not no, quite sure. No, I, I, I pass <laughs> the ball. I'll, I'll pass the ball any time, even with agility three. Um, like I said, five. Wins, two draws, one loss is a very good record. And to be fair, you know, you've only played eight games and this team is very nicely developed for eight, eight, eight um, yeah. games. Did you... You didn't get an overload piece, did you? No, you didn't. Nope. 
Nope, couldn't afford one. Unfortunately, afford one. I just bought my troll and yeah. my goblin. Um, I probably should have thought a little bit more about that and maybe tried to pick up a troll in the auction. Yeah. But yeah. I'm an idiot. What can I say? No. Um, but if I could have picked up a blocking troll or something, in, that would have yeah, been much be better nice. than the troll and the goblin at this stage. Yeah. But well, say la vie. You know, yeah. it's, it's one of those things. This is the only league we have that has a transfer league and full kudos to John for making it work. Yeah. But, um... You know, it's just something that you're not used to thinking about, yeah, like having to save cash towards the end of the season. Yeah. It's a really cool little, you know, little thing, though. It's like it just adds another element of strategy of like, do I buy that player now? Do I risk getting yeah, a better it, one it, in the transfer it, it's, window? It's you know? really, it's really good because, like I said, the MML on, on the biggest private league on PS4, they have a transfer system as well, and it just feels cool. so much, so much more hard work because they have so many rules. You know, yeah. and it's just like, oh my god, I just want to get my freaking player or whatever. It's so, so, like, so much red tape. Where with this one, it's sort of like, look, you're all grown up. I expect you all to, you know, be fair and, and, and not cheat, obviously. And um, it's just so much more smoother. It's so much more easier. There's not, I'm not, I'm not cluttered yeah. with rules. And yeah, he deserves a, f- a ton of credit for, for what he does. And um, yeah, I like to say, this, this Orc team. It'll go. It'll do well. And like I said, this team in a couple of seasons' time, it'll be really, really good. Because like I said, especially when that guard comes in and complement the two strength pieces, plus your troll, and you've got four strength, four yep. black. That's, uh, that's black the plan, orcs. you know. Oh, this team's gonna be nasty. Probably out of my next five or six skills, you'll probably see three or four guard players. Yeah, this team's gonna be Depending horrid to play against. Them. This team's gonna be yeah, bully teams, be- left, right, and centre. Long I think it's, it's you know, I think it's, it's, I mean, I'm looking more, you know, as I said, I, w- I want to take this team back to the Premier League and... Oh, they've definitely, they've definitely got you know, the, uh, the, the building blocks there, f- absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, I know I'm getting massively ahead of myself, I'm in Division 3 at the minute, but I've got oh, a, yeah. but you know, I'm looking at this team in three or four seasons thinking it's, it could be really good. Yeah, 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 it looks good. Right we shall then. see. Let's go on to the Dark Elves, Arkham Asylum, the villain. Again, that name rings a bell. I know. Ah, oh, who is this? Um, I do. Oh, I know. Who, he's on my friends list. Hang on a second. I'm sure he is. I tell you what, I love this. He's got all the like Batman, Batman, um, Suicide Squad yes. villains um, on there. All of them have been probably uh, been in the Arkham Asylum before. Yeah. So I really like that with the names and everything. Um, only 13.90 TB. He's got a mighty blow tackle block. Uh, it's uh, the penguin. Penguin, nice. Yeah. Um, Harley Quinn down. All oh, I, I love these names. I don't know who. Um, is that Gennara? Who's Gennara? I don't know. I don't know. Not familiar. Know. I'm not. Bane, I think he might have had to scrape Getshaw, the bottom of the barrel Bush, <laughs> for that one. Mad Hatter. <laughs> hey. Um, well, I want this team to do really well just for the, for the names. Um, two team re rolls. Um, he needs to get a third team re roll. That would be. Yeah, my concern. He's got a level up on Harley Quinn. I'm interested to see what he takes there. We would have thought he'd probably take block, unless there's a stat up. Um, he, he's gone block instead of dodge on his lineman. I got dodge just because obviously I want maneuverability more than that. But obviously, you know, block gives him to hit more. I suppose it's situational. Um, looking at his record, five wins, three losses. So, you know, not too bad. Uh, beat Great Kaiju 2-1 um, last time out and um, yeah th- this this team's interesting obviously it's, it's quite new so it's it's like you know there's not much really yeah. there yet It's it, 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 there's not much to critique on in terms of his team building is there because there's he's only got what five six skills yeah, yeah. at least he's across got the team at least you're right got... he definitely needs another re-roll but he's saving up for that I'd imagine but yeah you know, <clears> at least he's got his enforcer um, again it's, it's it's a tough ask because of obviously that, but it is a skillful team in in, in a yeah. division what doesn't have much agility for, so uh, that he might be able to use that to his advantage, and obviously the armor rate, so they take a bit more punishment than say Elven Union will. So yeah, um, not a bad team, and we finally wrap it up with tattooed punks. Um, um, there's no point looking at this. An AI team. Fantastic. Well, they're just an AI good. placeholder team at the moment. Ooh, well, nice. I think they're waiting for the proper team to turn up or something. Okay, so we can't. Oh, um, there you go then. So there's so, no point. There's no point critiquing that team at the minute. So, um, yeah. Hang so, on a minute. Did they? 
Well, oh, Sorin, Sorin Stunners, who played in the first game, they're not there anymore, so I presume they've... Oh, no, they're there. They're... So who's missing, then? I'm just thinking if there's any... Yeah, that's what I'm just trying to work out. Because that team, that tattooed punks team is not there. Uh, maybe there's... Sorry, they might have been a placeholder. You've got your, all your eight teams in now, haven't you? That would be the nine team. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Yeah, he's, because he's been used as a placeholder to start to start the league. That's then, what he's done. It's not in the... It's... It will be. It's, it was just in there to start the league. So, yeah, I, I get what he's done. I get what he done. I do it a lot on, on when I'm the admin for the Champion Cup, so I, I get that. So, they are the eight. Fair enough. They are the eight. Now then, who wins, who comes second, and who finishes bottom? I'll let you pick right. what you think. So, I'm going to go with... Oh, I'm going to go with Andrew's Lizardman team to win, because I just think they've got too much grunt for most of the teams in this league. Which one's that um, one? Is that the... That's praise, uh, praise the, the old, old ones. ones. Yeah. And I'm going to come second. I'm going to get promoted this year. That's my goal. The only um, concern, and I do apologise for saying this, but I've, no, got, to, go I've got to say it. The only thing what I'm worried about with the praise the old ones is they've got 16 losses and only 12 wins. Yes. That, to me, I'm like, why... Uh, it's, well, hang on a minute. Let's have a look what league he was in, because you might find he's been might, promoted and then yeah, and then come straight back down again or something. Let's have a look. So last season he was playing in. Well, so yeah, he's come down from Division Eight. Well, eight. Not, not Division Eight, Division Two. Sorry, yeah. just Division Two from season. Eight. Um, so yeah, yeah, he's got he's so been he's, he's been going up and down definitely. between yeah. two and three by the look of it for the last couple of seasons. Um, I, and he got a few losses I think, there. I think this team's got, got a good chance because, like you said, it's got a lot of beef and he should be able to yep. boss the Orcs about. Um, yeah. you I've know, not, all, I've all not the played Orcs. Andrew that often. I know who he is, but I've not played Andrew a massive amount. So, you know, yeah, I don't yeah. know what's so going you know. You think he's going to finish top. You're going to come second. Which team yeah. sadly crashed to Division 4 then? So... Who's going into Division 4? Hmm. I'm just having a look at myself. I'm going to go with... Squidward's Orcs? Oh, no, no, see, he's a good coach, yeah, like... I don't know. It's a tough one, because there's no team... Like, the other division had a team that was... You just looked at and went, all the teams in it, you know, yeah. are going to beat this. This really just comes down to the coaches. So I'm going to take a stab because it's just someone I've never encountered before, and I'm going to say Phenom Chriso with his with his lizards. Which one? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry if you're here. listening. I don't know who the hell you are, um, but you've got yeah. a low TV and. A not yeah. fantastic record with your team as we stand at the minute. So that's all I'm basing it on. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, six six wins and two losses. Yeah, that's, that's not, that's not the record. record I, was, no, I don't know. know. It's a tough one. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my call. But right, okay. Yeah. Right. I'm I'm. This is scary. I'm gonna actually agree with you regarding the lizard team finishing top. I'm a bit concerned yeah. with the record. I'll be honest. Um. So I'm gonna go with them first. Now, second place, uh, this is where it gets difficult, because I don't see a clear second place. Um, for ver There's various reasons why I, I can I can pick holes in almost all the teams. Oh, God, this is hard. I'm really impressed with that 3-0, you know, from likely Squigworth. I, I don't think his team's as good as yours, but... God, this is a hard one. It is. It's a really like no one, you know, no one really jumps out in this league as being, you know, the clear winner yeah. or loser for me. Uh, I, think this, is gonna, uh, I think this is going to be a very tightly contested league. And Mr. Jabberman's got a beautiful team. That's got so much potential. Yeah. Um, and he obviously got a very good draw against himself. Um, oh, God, this is this is horrid. This is a horror. 
I don't, I don't really, I don't really know. I'm just, I'm, looking, I'm just looking through all the teams as we have. I've just gone back to yours. Your team should be up there. But you're against a lot of Soros without guard. But you do have two turn four pieces on top. Oh, it's a I've tough got one. six, actually. Yeah. You know, no, I've got I mean, seven you've got strength, strength five and four yeah. players on my roster. That's why I, I give myself a pretty good shout against the Lizard yeah. Men this year. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to go the exact same two. The Lizards finished top. You to come second. Although, it wouldn't surprise me if, um, obviously, the humans... And them all. Yeah, I think Steve's going to give me a, a really good push. And um, the team I'm picking to finish bottom is the Nagel team. The um, Nagel team, Mac yep. Movers. Yeah. Yep. See, I yep. thought about that because he does have a pretty shocking record. He does. Um. um so he's I, got I, a pretty good team. Yeah. But I don't know. You know, like. There's, there's obviously. Yeah, you're right. He like, might be a really new guy, or he just might have had bad luck. I don't know. I just think the yeah. team's just wrong. Um. It's probably got one reroll too much. He's got he's got some nice pieces, yeah. um, but then he's got three ball handlers. He's got dead play with a block piece. Just little things like that just bug me. But in 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 a division where I can't really pick anybody with confidence who's going to finish bottom, yeah. I'm going to go with a guy who's given away a lot of TV, and he's got a bad badish record. And he's given and away a lot of wins. He's given a lot of wins. Yeah, exactly. So you know, no offense to him. Like I said, if he wants help or he wants a nice big signing next season, I'm more than happy to help him out there. Um, but he's going to be my pick to finish bottom, sadly. So that means you'll probably win the league now, I've said you'll finish bottom. Um, so yeah, there we, <laughs> you, there you, we go. You have been given the wonderful curse of Bernie. You said yeah, you're going you, to be shit, so therefore you will be amazing, no matter what. That, that's, what I get, I, 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 that's what everybody wants when I do these previews. PS4, they, they'll tell you. If you get tipped to be bottom, you, you'll 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 get promoted. Absolutely. Um, who's who's playing who next week? I am playing Saurian Stunners, so I'm playing Phenom Chriso. So I'll probably get made to eat my words about him finishing last. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So week two, yeah, interesting. Should be good. Should be good. But there you go. So that Indeed, it's is. Be a good one. Bloodwiser Division 3 done and dusted. So, um, there we go. That, that's us done for tonight. But um, I hope that has wet your appetite because I know a lot of people wanted a few more done. So there's two more done. And then obviously I'll do my best, try and squeeze something in maybe tomorrow or the day after or whatever, um, yeah. where I know the next one I'm going to be looking at is Bloodwiser's Division 2. Um, that will be the next one I will be looking at. Um but there you go. But thanks, like I said, if, if you haven't seen any of the, any of the other um, previews, like I said, just subscribe to my, my YouTube channel. They're all on there, and it'll tell you when another new video comes up regarding the Fable, because I will be twitching some of the games as well um, soon as this last week of the playoffs on the Champions Ladder is over, because that's taking most of my uh, prior at the moment. So thanks again to, um, obviously, Gary, to uh, joining me. Much appreciate to give us the info Anytime, on, the, on the, uh, the coaches. Makes my job a hell of a lot easier. Um, good luck in um, getting that promotion with your uh, scary-looking orcs. And, um, we, I'll do my best. And we will see you um, next time. Um, so take care, everyone. Good luck on the bubble pitch. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.